So I've had a couple of comments on older YouTube videos showing how you can use the image wrap effect in Squarespace. And those comments have said, it doesn't work any longer. They are quite right. Since the change to the new Fluid Engine, those tutorials are pretty much defunct. However, there is currently a workaround that will allow us to have our cake and eat it. We can have all of the great benefits that the new Fluid Editor has, and I believe there are many, but we can also revert back to the classic editor, and I'll show you how to do that now. This is a template that we've got in production at the moment, and I've taken the liberty of creating a demo page here. If I click Edit, we can jump in and we've got this top section. And at the end of this tutorial, I'll show how we can give this a little bit more impact when we come to wrap up, pun intended. So let's have a look at the image wrap effect. So let's add a new section. And instead of selecting one of the templates here, I can go all the way to the bottom and we can find this classic editor option. That's it. Now we've got our blue ovals with our plus icons ready to go. And I can add in some custom text just as a placeholder. And I'm going to add a few paragraphs in there. Okay. So now we've got our text in place. We're going to add an image. We're going to select from the existing library just to save us a bit of time. Now that's uploaded, it's not looking very pretty at the moment. So I'm just going to go to the page settings in a moment and tweak that. First of all, we're going to wrap it to the right side. So we're looking for that blue box to make sure that the image wrap is working as planned. Okay, we can save that section. And now we have fully integrated image wrap option. We just cannot do it at the moment in areas with the Fluid Engine. We can split content as shown here, but we can't wrap our image amongst the text. So that's how we can get the image wrap working. I'm going to edit this section here now and just reduce the width and height of the content. So I might switch that back to medium. We might then just select this as a heading. Whoa, that's way too much. So this is a really good way if we're showing lots and lots of text and we want that image wrap effect to break up the text. We've got a few different options as well. to allow us to add in our image card effects if we wanted to style our images. And there we go. Image wrap with the style effect by just clicking on this option here. The pencil will take us back in to edit it. And we can choose alignment of that image and text box. So whether the image is aligned to the left, center, or to the right. Okay, so that's everything we wanted to have a look at there today. One final little takeaway tip. This image is really lost here at the bottom. It may be an effect you're going for, but for me, I'd rather a little bit more impact from it. So I'm going to double click on it to edit it, then go into the image editor itself. And all I'm going to do now is go to three by two. So we can see it's already three by two because the cropping tool hasn't changed. And then we can bring in a little bit more focus. I wouldn't crop in too much because again, it'll just be taking over a little bit. So it's always good to have a little bit of breathing space. One of our principles of design is spaceman, let it breathe. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So click save. And there we have it. 
image now has more impact. This quite text heavy section here has a little bit more flow to it now and has balance for content heavy pages. And now we can press save and our jobs are good. I'll see you in the next video.